He's 16. He loves physics. He loves calculus. But he's failing. He's not doing as well as he wants to. In this video, I am going to respond to an email that I received from a viewer here on the channel. I will leave their name out of it. They didn't say anything about their name, but I'll leave it out. But I do have advice for this person, and if you have advice, leave a comment in the comment section below. The subject is, I study my off, but I can't get the results I want. This channel is, is G-rated, so I gotta keep the language uh, clean. Dear Math Sorcerer, I'm 16 years old and just started the IB Diploma program. I have a passion for physics, and it's one of my favorite classes. I also like learning physics and maths on my own. I started learning calculus, and I now know the basics of differentiation and integrals. I'm also doing a course on special relativity, but the thing I study the most are physics IB subjects, and whenever test day comes, I do terribly. I did all the homework questions. I did the past papers, but I still don't do well. I feel pretty demotivated and not wanting to continue, but I know that listening to those feelings won't help me and I won't stop studying. Is there any advice you can give me with regards? Let me just say thank you and let me say that I appreciate your email. I'm going to start by commenting on the last thing you said. I feel pretty demotivated and not wanting to continue, but I know that listening to those feelings won't help me. And this is the part I like. I won't stop studying. That's right. So it sounds like you've developed the ability to become unstoppable at the age of 16. I mean, you are doing so much. You are. I'm getting goosebumps. You're doing so much. I mean, you at 16 compared to me at 16, you're like 20x of me. I mean, incredible. I didn't even know what calculus was when I was 16. And you're doing special relativity. So you said you're struggling, but you didn't really specify what you're struggling with. From your email, I'm guessing it's calculus. I could be wrong. Maybe it's special relativity. Maybe it's physics. I do have some advice for you. And unfortunately, it's probably not the advice you want to hear. But it's the advice that I can give you because this is as well as I know you. you know, I know about you from what you're saying in your message. So from your message, it sounds like you are incredibly hardworking. You know a lot of math and you know a lot of physics. And you're surrounded by people who are really smart because you're in an IB program. For those of you that don't know, um, IB programs are programs in certain schools where students can go to those schools. And anyone can go to that school. It doesn't matter where you live. So in the US, if you're in high school, and he's in high school because he's 16, uh, you, go to, you go to your high school depending on where you live. But the IB program is, is set up in certain counties, in certain states, and I believe anyone from that county can go to that school. And it's like a more advanced version of high school. Now, students in the IB programs, like this person here, are extremely good. Okay? I used to volunteer uh, for a contest. I volunteered for like 10 years for this contest. I wasn't in charge of it. I volunteered. And uh, it was a contest for high school students. And they would compete in all subjects, not just math. Math, English, science, everything. And it was hard. It was like a, a high school version of Jeopardy, but it was all academic. Very hardcore. Very, very hardcore. I used to volunteer. I used to meet these students. These are like the top students, right? These are just like, these are not the regular high school students, okay? Top students. So this person here is in the IB program. It's a top student, and he's struggling. So you're surrounded by the best, and you're trying to keep up. I say, it's OK. Take a step back, you know? Slow down a little bit. Maybe cut back some classes. That would be my advice. Don't do as much. You might say, I don't want to quit. That's weak. I, I don't think it's quitting. I think it's being strategic. I mean, I've done this. You know, People do this. People withdraw. I withdrew from my statistical theory class the first time I took it. I got a C. And I was devastated. I got a 72 on the first test. I thought, no, that's not how I want to start this class. And I was taking advanced calculus at the time, and it was too much, right? Sometimes it's too much. You know, you might have classmates that are doing everything you're doing, and they're doing well. 
That doesn't mean you should do what they're doing, right? Just take it a little bit slower sometimes. It's like, it's like working out. You know, you go to the gym and some people lift heavier weights than you because they're naturally stronger, they have better genetics, or they've been doing it longer, or some combination of the three. It's the same thing with mathematics and physics. Some people can handle more courses. They can. I'll never forget when I was an undergrad, I walked into my advisor's office and I was in a similar dilemma as yours, you know, because I felt overwhelmed. I felt like I couldn't do it. And I looked at him and I said, how many math classes can I take? What, what's the maximum? You know, can I, can I take three? Can I take four? I'm taking three right now and it seems like a lot. I was like, do people take four? I looked at me and he said, yeah, some people take four. It's a pretty generic answer, but some people take four. That's the answer. And do they get A's in all four? Maybe, right? Maybe, but maybe their background is better than yours. So I wouldn't worry about it. You're only 16 years old. You still have your whole life ahead of you. You're already like one of the top students. I mean, you're probably like in the top 1% of all the students in your high school. I mean, you're in the IB program. <laughs> you're taking special relativity at 16. So don't worry about it, okay? You're gonna be all right. Yeah, cut back. That's my advice. I'm not gonna recommend any books, any courses, nothing, because you know what's going on. You're in the IB program, right? You're already a rock star. I think the biggest thing is just realize that, and I wanna say this, but there's more to life than math and academics, right? Take a step back, drop one of those classes or just lower your load a little bit and focus on other things in your life and try to find a little bit more of a balance. And, and by, taking, by taking, your, taking some pressure off, you'll have more time to work on those classes, right? If you're just focusing on two or three hard classes, you got it. For me, personally, it was three. Three was the magic number, okay? Three is the most I can do as a college student, okay? Three hard math classes. So like, you know, as an undergrad, hard classes, partial differential equations, uh, linear algebra, uh, complex variables, and then like a fluff class. So three hard math classes was the limit for me. I don't know how many you're doing, but it sounds like you're doing a lot and you're only 16, so yeah. Yeah. I hope it helps. And I'm curious, because maybe there's other people who watch this channel who are his age. I think that the age range for this channel is mostly, most, most people who watch these videos are over 18, but there are some people who, who are in high school who watch these videos, so I thought I would make this, and yeah. If you're in high school, or if you're in this experience, or if you've had this experience, or if you know about the IB program, you know, leave a comment. If you have advice for this person, leave a comment. So I think you're going to do all right. You're already doing awesome. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see where you are in five years, right? That's, that's, the, real, that's the real joy there. Hey, if you want to learn math, I do have courses. They're on my website, or they're on Udemy. But if you get them, use the links from my website, mathsorcerer.com or freemathbits.com. When you use those links, it helps me greatly. One, because I've lowered the prices to the bare minimum. So when you click those links, it helps you because I've lowered the prices. Two, it helps me. Otherwise, uh, Udemy takes a huge cut. But I've got courses on algebra, calculus, one, two, three, um, no physics, differential equations, some advanced calculus, abstract algebra, trigonometry, etc. The key takeaway you should take away from this video is sometimes you know, you're doing a lot, you're doing everything well, you're, you're, you're doing a lot, that's the point. And you reach a point where you're like, okay, I'm not performing as well as I can perform. So take something off your plate, right? Just get rid of a class, you know, drop a responsibility so you can focus on what you're focusing on and, and do a better job at it. That's my advice. And you're gonna be okay. So young, right? You have so much time. You got this, you got this. As always, keep doing mathematics.